ATV family, thank you so much for joining us today. And today I am in the studio with a lovely lady who has an amazing testimony. And we know very well that she represents a lot of people. Young women, old women, mature women, she has a story of God's grace, restoration, and purpose. Now, talking about God turning your mess into a message. Now, today I am joined by this beautiful lady. Please introduce yourself, ma'am. Good afternoon. My name is Selulego Tracy Uche. Um, I'm from Zimbabwe. Uh, but I grew up in South Africa, and I'm married to a Nigerian man. So I've got three nations in me. I would like to say, I would like to thank God for this opportunity that he has given me. And I would like to say to our father, Bishop Ida, congratulations. And the fruit of your womb is blessed. Uh, thank you for everything that you do for us. Uh, for, oh, now my story goes like this. Um, I was born... In Zimbabwe, I came to South Africa when I was 14. I came searching for my dad, and when I came to South Africa, I found my dad was staying in Hillbro. And the principalities of Hillbro, uh, they took me in, and I got involved in prostitution and drugs. I was in, I was I was in it for almost. Five years before I got out, I was addicted uh, to every sort of drug that you can think of. And, well, the, as they say, the grace of God found me. And I'd like to also thank a very special lady in my life, Mama Lillian. She was the one who introduced me to the ministry of Christ Ambassadors. Uh, we came here in 2014 when I was pregnant. And I remember I got delivered at the Easter, at the Easter service in the, at the Santon Convention Center. I remember the man of God said to me, you, you have been delivered and you will get a job and your man will take care of you and the child and you will worship God in truth and in spirit. That's what he said to me. And after that, things started going well, you know, just like the man of God had prophesied, you know, and um, I got a job. The father of my child started taking care of us and, you know, and took care of the child as well. But as time went on, uh, I got offended in church. <laughs> you know, I was still a baby Christian then, you know, and uh, I left church, you know. Um, after I left church, so many things happened, you know. I started smoking and, you know, I wasn't at peace with myself now. And so many things were happening and I, I wanted to start a business. I was working. I felt so tired. And so I went to another man of God searching for answers. You know how we are. You know, and you say, you say, I'm done with Christ ambassadors. I'm not going back there. The people are just mean. And as I, you know, I left and I went to this ministry, uh, a true man of God. I'm not going to mention names, right? But uh, this man said to me, you are here looking for a blessing, but you left a blessing where you came from. You need to go back to your spiritual father and ask for forgiveness. And I was like, you know, I, I started, you know, I started having this debating with, 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 my, with myself. And I started asking God, God, what does this mean? You mean I must go back to those people who judged me, those people who said I was after their men, you know, because I came with my sister here. And, you know, the way we were judged and people were saying, oh, I hate these prostitutes. They come to steal our husbands. It hurt. Tracy, just to hold you there. Now, okay, is this after your deliverance? Yes, it's after my deliverance. It's after my deliverance. And, and so, so basically, during your deliverance, the details that were coming out, Obviously, you were going through deliverance, and obviously, it was a demonic entity, a demonic force that was, um, that was confessing. Yes. So are you saying that it, it happened to you, you were a victim of other um, congregants, unfortunately, ignorant congregants, who began to speak like that toward you? Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I'll say that. I mean, they, they didn't know. They don't, I mean, we don't know. I'm, God. No, you know, I, I, they say lack of knowledge is, I mean, people perish because of lack of knowledge. And I guess that's how it was. I mean, so, but I, I, I believe what God loves prostitutes. I mean, I remember a story in the Bible, which is when that woman, they brought that woman to be stoned because they found her committing adultery. And Jesus said, each and every, if any one of you here does not have a sin, you can cast the first stone. And no one came forward. You know, I understand that now, but then I didn't understand. I guess I used my emotions. So that's why I left the church. You know, uh, and... Well, I'm back to church now, and I'm not here for anybody. Anyone can point fingers, but I know why I'm here, and I'm going to receive my blessing, and I have. Your deliverance. Yeah, after my deliverance, yes. And I went back. I was working now. I said, you know what? I don't need those people. I'm working now. I've got... But, you know... Because you know what? The Bible also says, you know, the, the demons are cast out. They go roaming around. And then when they found the house clean, they go and collect other demons. So when I started smoking and drinking, I realized that the devil wanted to take me away again. You know, and immediately I started searching for answers. And everything that I was touching now was not prospering like in my business and my work you know and 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 when I went to this man of God and he told me this I said I'm not going there you know pride kicked in how can I go back to that church what are they going to say you know and I started God started speaking to me now and he said seek ye the kingdom of God first and all these things shall be added unto you and you know, everywhere I went, I'll keep, the, uh, this verse will just pop in, you know, and I said, God, what is this? And I spoke to my spiritual mother, Mama Lillian, because she was the one who brought me to the ministry. I told her what was happening in my life, and she gave me the encounter, the divine encounter, Pastor Ida's book, and I read it. I started reading it. And, you know, in the book, there was, there was where he talks about that service where I was delivered. You know, I decided, God, my pride wouldn't kill me. I'm going back to church, you know. And when I came back, when I came back, uh, it was on a Wednesday service, uh, the man of God, uh, 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 the man of God said to me, um, I pray for you, you've been restored. You know, and everything, you will get your world, you, you, you get your restoration, you know, and he asked, and I said, thank you. And he asked me, why are you saying thank you? And then I told him that I left the church and I went to a man of God. He said, I must come back to church. I disrespected my, my father, my spiritual father, and I must come back because this is where my blessing is, you know? And from then I knew things had turned around for my court. You know, my business started doing well. And this project, like the vision that God had given me after I left prostitution, it came back, you know? And it started to manifest now. You know, people started, you know, people started offering to help me you know, like uh, this man who said, okay, you've got a beautiful vision. So, you know, come, let me help you. And I, then I, I knew, Uguti, oh, oh God, you had answered my prayers. The God of this heart. So now, yeah, I know it's a very touching moment now, especially...